Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's Live in Leesburg, where every Friday we take you behind the scenes of one of our different departments or services provided to you in the town. I am Leah Kozen, Assistant Public Information Officer. With me is Greg Walbridge, Project Manager of Patriot Disposal, who's going to give us a little bit of an update regarding recycling in the town of Leesburg. Greg, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. I know we did You're this welcome. just a few months ago. Things have changed and for good reason, so we wanted to make sure that we communicate that message with everyone here in our town. The biggest change that we want to continue to reiterate is the fact that we are no longer allowed to place our recycling into plastic bags. Can you tell us why? Yeah, the main reason, Leah, is in the facilities today, the modern recycling facility, one of the first things they do is they put all the material on a screen that separates the two-dimensional items from the three-dimensional. In other words, the paper from the containers. Mm -hmm. And those systems have rollers and the plastic bags get wrapped up in those rollers. Got it. So if you can imagine bag after bag after bag goes over those rollers over time, they get so jammed up with plastic, they have to shut down the systems and literally get in there with razor knives and cut all this plastic off. So it, you know, you've got 10 people working on a line, all of a sudden they have nothing to do but stand around and wait for the guy to get all the plastic cut off. Okay. So it's a big detriment to the recycling facilities and they're passing the extra cost on to us who are also looking to pass it on to Leesburg and ultimately on to you. So we're trying so, to yeah. prevent that and and clean up the way we do recycling. Okay, great. Now, I will admit, I was one of those people where I come home from the grocery store with plastic bags, fill it with recycles, and then have the kids take it out to the toter. You no longer want to do that. And it's actually not as hard as it may seem. So let's go ahead and open up this toter here and uh, show you exactly what we mean. All you have to do is you can you know, purchase one of these little recycling bins from a local uh, store Home Depot mm -hmm. I think even like Target and Walmart those sorts of places have them loosely in the little container and then you just dump it just like that and then you're done right right that's I'm, it I'm a little nervous though that he's looking in here trying to decide if I'm recycling everything correctly um, what things should not be recycled other than plastic in addition to plastic well I, the same recycling do's and don'ts haven't changed um, one of the things that we have learned is there, there, because of the quality of glass, there isn't a lot of glass ultimately getting recycled at the end of the day. And the plastics that aren't number ones and twos, in other words, your milk jugs and your, mm -hmm. you know, your two liter pop bottles and your detergents, after that, a lot of plastics aren't really being recycled. Let's say your, your electronics packaging or those type of things, the real thin plastics, they aren't getting recycled because there are no markets for them at this point in time. But the main thing to remember is just don't put plastic bags in your recycling and the recycling facility should accept the material um, as long as we do that. Great. Now one thing I also want to um, remind everyone, if you have items that are not going to fit in your recycling tote, that's okay. Just stack them on the side and our guys will help take care of them. Um, you can also place them into another recycling container, I'm guessing. Would that be okay for sure. you guys? All right. If you have large items, lawn mowers, dressers, TVs, that sort of thing, you can always visit our website at leesburgva.gov to find out more on how you go about recycling those items. Larger items, they can just give Patriot Disposal a phone call and schedule a pickup or you can always take those items to the landfill. Um, one other item I just want to talk about really quick that a lot of people always seem to ask us about in addition to plastic and glass, it's foil. Foil, yes or no, whenever it comes to recycling. Foil is kind of, uh, depends on the recycling facility. I always tell people, as long as it's clean, recycle it. Um, right. We're not going to get uh, dinged by mm -hmm. the recycling facility for having foil in it. So okay. I always you know, go to the, the side of, let's, let's recycle the, the foil. All right, perfect. So again, our main message today is just that we are no longer accepting plastic whenever it comes to recycling. I know that Patriot will be going around putting notices on all of the toters that if they cannot collect your recycle, recycling items, it's because they were in plastic bags. Um, there will be more information on that coming to you shortly. Until then, Greg, as always, thank you so much for everything you do for our town, helping to keep it clean and organized and for taking time out of the be with us today. Until next week, hopefully on a less windy or fall day, I'm Leah Cozen. 
We'll see you next time.